Living by the motto, one mind, any weapon, the United States Marines have to be ready to fight anywhere and at any time. This means they'll need a martial art as tough and versatile as the challenges they'll face. The Marine Corps Martial Arts Program, or MCMAP, relies on elbow and knee strikes from Muay Thai, kicks, blocks, and open hand strikes from Taekwondo and Karate, and chokes, joint locks, and bone-breaking techniques from Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. One of the many Jiu-Jitsu moves that has become a cornerstone of McMath is the rolling knee bar. The real damage from the knee bar doesn't come from gravity. It comes from leverage. Once the knee is locked, your hips act like a fulcrum, and his leg acts like a lever, multiplying any force you apply. So even though the ligaments and tendons around the knee can sustain 1,700 newtons of force, the knee bar can load a lot more than that enough to completely destroy the joint. Another MCMAP move derived from Eastern martial arts is the round kick defense. By taking control of your opponent's leg, you turn his hip into a pivot point. And there are two forces being imparted about the pivot point, one by the arm above and one by the sweep below. These forces act as a couple, resulting in your opponent's rotation rotation that slams him right to the deck. And given the speed of rotation and the force of gravity, that impact could cause permanent injury. One of the most effective takedowns in the MCMAP program is the REAP. The key to the REAP is to get your opponent's center of mass outside his stability zone. To do that, the Marine pushes his opponent at a location above his center of mass while using his sweeping leg to create a tripping point, which is below his opponent's center of mass. Once the loss of stability has occurred, gravity does the work and the damage. On the ground and on his back, your opponent is now vulnerable to any number of finishing strikes. Since the Continental Marines battled the Redcoats in the Revolutionary War, every Marine has trained to fight with a bayonet. So it makes sense that bayonet attacks would be incorporated into McMahon. The horizontal butt stroke is a close range strike designed to knock an opponent out. With the combined momentum of your forward step, the twist of your torso, and the swing of the rifle, the butt stroke can strike your opponent at a speed nearing 20 miles per hour, carrying well over 550 pounds of force. That's enough to drive a 16 penny nail through nearly two inches of pressure treated wood. Add a follow-up slash and thrust with a bayonet, and the butt stroke becomes a real killer. For sneak attacks or irregular warfare, Marines trained in McMap need to rely on something quiet, focused, and deadly. The rear naked choke is perfect for taking out an enemy in complete silence. Working much like a nutcracker, your forearm and biceps apply pressure to your opponent's carotid arteries. Located on either side of the trachea, these two arteries are the only way to get blood to the brain. It can take less pressure than squeezing an orange to stop the flow of blood. And with no blood flow to the brain, it shuts down almost instantly. Fight over. The rolling knee bar. The round kick defense. The reap. The horizontal butt stroke and the rear naked choke. These are just some of the basic tools of McMath. With these moves and many others, the United States Marine Corps has what it takes to protect our country and to serve as a real life human weapon.